Hello guys and welcome to another boss video. So I totally forgot about these guys that you can face. By the way, there's a summon sign right here next to these two barrels. Uh, there's these guys that you can face. Uh, I, I did say in my previous video that I was going to fight the gorgoyles. But you can actually fight these guys uh, ahead of them, actually. Also, there's a summon sign in there. You can actually fight these guys, too. Which I think there's like three in there. I, I, I haven't done the boss fight yet, so I, I don't know what the hell their name is. It's been a long time since I played this game, so... But anyways, I'm going to fight these guys. Uh, but you can actually, there's a way for you to actually skip this boss, by the way. You have to, you have to defeat the Flexal Sentry and the Pursuer to do this. So you defeat the, the Pursuer first, and then you'll appear at the tower beyond. And then from the tower, you'll eventually, uh, you'll eventually see Mira. And next to Mira is, uh, is a chest that has the antique, antique, uh, key. And then once you get the key, then you go back to, you go back, you go back to, uh, Hades Tower of Flame. Get past uh, No Man's Wharf, defeat Flexel Sentry, get teleported to the Lost Bastion, and then just keep proceeding forward all the way into the end. Um, and then once you reach the bottom, there should be like a like a, a wooden a wooden uh, barricade. Destroy that wooden barricade, and then you'll see a a door on the other side. It's inside some little uh, some little hut or something or a house or whatever. So it's in, 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 in it's through that door that you'll use the antique key, and then once you use the antique key over there, you'll be able to enter like this really dark room, and in that dark room there is actually a cage somewhere in there. There is a cage, and that cage will lead you up all the way to the uh, to the the sinner's rise, which is like the main boss of this entire area. So that is the way to skip this boss. But anyways, too much talking. It's time for action. These guys do not like electricity at all. And it's easy to fight this guy up here, just avoid most of the turn left and get to go. Although the main part here is that stem generation. Man. There we go. And uh, those guys will walk and they'll they'll actually jump they'll actually be able to jump up here by the way do as much damage as you can to this one before the other one appears come on attack Keep both of them in line of sight because, you know, you can get pretty annoying fighting these guys. If, like, you know, they're not on your uh, side of vision. Oh shit, I hate this attack. Pop a life jam. They're easy once you figure out. How to beat them. I just can't wait to get the uh, the shield that helps me get more stamina. Damn! Oh, I turned around for some odd reason. No doubt. That is how you do it. There's a few uh, hidden doors here. You can access. One here leads to the top. This one's for last. Uh, I can't remember if they. Yeah, this one has item. Rusted coin, nice. Rusted coin is nice. It helps you with uh, item item discovery. Which is oddly enough, this game does not have that as an attribute. It's weird. I feel like adaptability is the uh, is your luck essence or whatever the hell it's called. Like in every single Dark Souls, there's an attribute that actually helps you with item discovery. This one does not have that. I think it's purely on luck. 
there's a few things that helps you out but um, yeah it doesn't really have it on your on your attributes for leveling up which is kind of weird oh yeah it's right here homeward bun can I make it can I make it can I make it <laughs> we failed all right whatever it doesn't matter it's all good I do need to heal up though and now we're gonna fight the gargoyles now we're gonna fight the gargoyles Yeah, you got one of those guys that jumps around in here. Make sure to have a thrust weapon and take that man's life. Rogue water. I think it restores uh, your magic. Or not magic, uh, the usage of your spells and shit. Run! Oh, Jesus. Goddamn. Damn. No, that was right behind me. Soul of a name Nameless Soldier. Uh, the next boss is actually really soon. Like, I can actually fight him in, like, after two minutes from now. So you go down here, then you use the, uh, the Pharaoh's, uh, Lockstone. This item right, uh, here. Where is it? Uh, this one. The Pharaoh's Lockstone. And then you pass through the door, and then boom. He, th he talks to some little, uh, some little guy. Telling you to protect the bell or whatever, to join the bell covenant. Uh, but then once you once you activate the bell, then a, a gate will open and you pass through the gate and boom, you fight the gargoyles. At any rate, I'll see you guys in the next gargoyle boss fight. Thank you for watching.